overcoming numerous challenges without the necessary support from others. Yet they have persevered and made incredible progress in their respective fields and they have become known as one of the best players in the league over the years and uh, the students those are going to be receiving this scholarship I, I really want them to build uh, they have all the abilities to go to the top but there is one very interesting quote that I have heard from one of the person that ability will ability can take you to the top but it is the character that keeps you over there so I want all the toppers over here who are going to be receiving the scholarship from Mithali and Baijun to develop that character uh, and to to basically have those characteristics which they have or uh, if even if you will basically become 10% of them I think you are going to be the Mithali Raj and Baijun Bhutia of tech ecosystem and that is what I wish for, that is what I aspire for um, and hope you guys are going to make the most out of it. But, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed being on. Uh, being uh, someone who's pursued um, the, reason, the purpose of having equal uh, opportunities to both, uh, to both the genders and there's no gender bias, that is something I've always pursued in my career. Uh, other than cricket. So, uh, my association with Masai was, this is one of the big reasons that they uh, they have this one mission, one of their mission is gender equity and uh, to create women-centric workplace for women to thrive and develop their skills. And I am also of an opinion that a successful woman can influence women around them. They are like a beacon. So, um, and, and also the fact that um, I've, I've also come across many uh, players because I've played for so many years as a captain. So I've led uh, many players that have played under me. So I've seen uh, people coming from different backgrounds. And as you rightly said, we both don't have any certificate to, to get into the sport. But it is our skill probably and our performance that has got us where we are. And in today's time, skill development is so important. That is something I guess India and we all look forward to. That is the future. And uh, Masai gives that platform to all, all of you uh, without any gender bias. And with the scholarship that I'm thoroughly proud of, um, we give an opportunity to women to uh, you know do something you know uh, to create an identity which I felt I had an opportunity with my parents gave me to create my own identity. <coughs> Similarly, Masai is giving you that platform and I, I really hope that you go a long way in creating um, yourself as a role model for other women in the tech industry which I still believe is, is a male dominated one yet but I'm sure that with many of you from Masai Institute will go on to change and be the revolution that it requires? Um, I think my association with Masai obviously is the concept what they have and I think we are seeing the future of education uh, in India, the concept what they have. Uh, the concept is I think they identify the talent, if the talent is chosen, selected, they train the student and they make sure that just not train and educate, also they make sure that they are getting a job in a good IT sector which uh, is minimum of 5 lakh per annum. I think, you know, this is a great concept because a lot of students, uh, you know, today are taking loans, a uh, lot of students can't afford to get into a lot of colleges or even IT sector. I think this is where the students don't need to pay any fees up front and they can come and get uh, selected, start studying uh, and then also the future changes for them once they start working. In fact, this is a concept which is very successful with football. In fact, uh, all the European clubs across Europe, all the big clubs follow this system which they have been following for a long, long time. They identify the talent, groom the talent, train the talent and the talent goes on to become one of the big players for the club. Obviously, the players get a huge salary but also the talent, the player becomes a great asset for the club so that the club can sell and generate huge revenue out of it. And this is what it really has helped a lot of countries all across, even clubs in, and countries in South America, Africa and Europe. 
and I think what we've already seen with Masai doing an education system, I think this system should come in football as well with Indian football, especially with the clubs. I think it's time that we also identify our talent, go to rural areas, identify them, train them and make them a good player and then make them an asset for the club and the country. So that is what I think we need to follow it. So yes, uh, uh, I wish Masai and I wish all the students who are getting scholarship today and also I think been getting scholarship in the past and in future. All the best. As Pratik said, it's easy to reach the top but to stay there you need that character. So I hope all of you guys do well and all the best. Thank you.